Welcome to video one of the Linux command series. I'm going to go through basic Linux commands, one per video, starting out with the ls command in this video. So if you find this helpful and useful, um, go ahead and check out some of the other videos I will be putting up. Um, I want this to be able to help those who want to learn Linux as well as uh, refresh for be a refresher for those who already use Linux and know Linux. Um, as I got, went through some of these commands, some of them I don't use normally um, or haven't used normally because I just didn't know them that well. But I'm trying to uh, uh, just, you know, refresh and learn. And so if you find this helpful, then uh, keep watching. So we're going to start with the ls command. It's a very basic command that um, has several options like like most commands in Linux. So right now, if you do ls, that's going to just print out your regular... Uh, current directory. So ls with no options is going to print out the current visible directory. Now if you do ls dash, dash a that is going to show you the hidden files and directories that um, have a period in front of it as well as the uh, directories that they showed before. If you want to be able to get more information about the directories you can do ll. ll is going to um, get show the permissions, the file size or directory size, the user and owner, um, the date that this was uh, created or updated, and the time at the end as well. Um, so you can do LL. Um, now, if you um, want to sort this list, you can. Uh, sort it so right now it's all like you know jumbled up if you do ls dash lt this is going to sort the directories and files by time and date and so as you can see the the newest created directory um, and updated directory is going to show uh, the at the top of the list and the one that has been used a long time ago or has not been updated recently is going to show at the bottom of the list. To so right now we're just printing out directory the directory right now. So the, this is just a the ls command with an option. If you want to check out what is in if you want to actually you know see another way to use the ls command is if you want to see what is in a different directory you can go so if we do an ls right now these are our options we can do ls and then you can choose a directory there's a, a tab command right there so I just did doc and I tabbed doc to finish documents now this is going to show you everything that is going to be in your documents folder so um, now with that um, if you want to list how we showed out earlier the ll command um, you can also do ls dash la that's gonna now do every single thing including hitting fi hidden files and directories um, and list them out with the permissions and dates and timestamps and things like that um, another um, cool thing is if you want to see what kind of file types there are you can do an ls dash f now if you see, you can see that each one of these is a um, directory because it has the trailing slash on the end. If we go into documents and you run the ls with the dash f option, you can see what file types these things are. Um, you know, some a lot of these are just text files. If they're text files on my distro they're not showing anything unless they're like a doc file you can see the dot doc server builds underscore example dot doc there's a bin file in there there's a couple of spreadsheet files xlsx so um that is that one last thing with this um if you want to list uh 
the every single um, now if we go back again this is where we've been working out of this directory if you want to see every single all the contents of one of these directories you can do an ls dash r now this is going to show you every single thing in here so the way that this is different than doing um, than doing an ls and then the and then just looks like if we just do an ls documents okay this is what we showed you before you can see everything in there but you can't see what are in my directories there right there you know the linux pdfs the knock cinecore server builds cisco those are directories but if you do an ls dash r and then do documents you're going to get this really long list showing you every single thing including what is in those directories all right so this is does it for the ls command i hope you enjoyed and watch the rest of my videos